Hey all, Kurt Sasso here from TGT Web Comics. We're here at Kids Read Comics. We're here with the Osmos, Oz, oh, sorry, Ozone, Ozone Jones. Ozone Jones, that's right. <laughs> with uh, Michelangelo here. How are you doing today? I'm doing all right. How are you doing, Kurt? I'm doing wonderful. You know, this is a, a great convention, full of energy, full of kids running around. Oh yeah, this is comics. really great. And, and just the talent over here is amazing. So, if, you know, if anyone gets a chance to come, well, it's probably too late by the time you see this, but if this shows up again next year around the, your area, or even if it's on your area, it's definitely worth it. The workshops are, are phenomenal. The talent's just amazing over here. So, You know, talk to a little bit about uh, Ozone Jones here because I, I read the comic on your website. It's amazing. It's a fast-paced read, and it's really enjoyable, too. Oh, thank you. I, uh, Ozone Jones was kind of a happy accident. What happened was that uh, at the time I was teaching a cartoon class, and uh, as part of the uh, instruction, I thought that, well, I really need to show the students what I'm doing, you know, not just tell them what to do, but to show them how to do it. So I, I came up with this character, and and Ozone Jones became very much like a teaching avatar for this cartooning class. I didn't realize at the time that somehow I've been able to get some legs off of it, where it keeps on repeating itself, and anytime I get a chance to draw comics, it seems to be a very easy character to plug into these very goofy little situations and, and go from there. So, And it's like he's a superhero by accident and of sort. Is that yeah, right? he's, he's very much a superhero by accident. We're not even sure if he's human or not. I think Ozone is, is figuring that out for himself. He's kind of lucky that he has this tree house that he can crash at his friend Pearl's house. Uh, Pearl's mom is not too happy to have Ozone around, but he deals with it with, with like anything else. The cops don't want him around. You know, the villains don't want him around. He seems to cause trouble no matter if it's friend or foe. Oh, that's great to hear. And, you know, you have a wonderful art style. It's, a, it's, it's easy to, to look at and identify your characters and you have a wonderful writing style as well, which is great to see, especially in, a, in quick comics like this, too. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I don't know. I just it, a lot of the stuff I have to admit. It's very much stream of consciousness. Uh, most of the Ozone Jones books I do, they're either done overnight or within a day or two, only because that's where I only get the uh, I get the little bit of spare time to draw the character. So uh, a lot of that just kind of follows from A to B to C, and and then at a certain point where you know you have to get done. All right, I got eight pages. I got 24 pages. Everything breaks down. As to what I can actually make a complete book out of, and so it's very, once again, very much a happy accident. What have the kids' reactions been to Ozone Jones, and in, in either online aspect or, or in terms of what they see here? Online, I don't know. To be honest with you, the website is uh, horrendously out of date. So I probably need to, at some point, update the website and either allow comments or any sort of feedback from it. But as far as uh, uh, kids seem to be happy just looking at the character. Obviously, it's got this ex expressive open face. It might be more that I give away the stuff whenever I do public appearances more than anything. So if they're getting something for free, there's always a happy face on them. And for those, you know, being a, being an art instructor as you are, you know, those that those kids that come up and actually, you know, want to get into this industry that are, you know, maybe eight or nine, let's say, mm -hmm. you know, what advice do you have for them? Oh, um. I wouldn't worry so much about getting into the industry is just it's probably more important to draw comics and to have fun doing it. I I think that's probably the biggest thing because then if you don't get hung up on your mistakes, don't get hung up on any of your shortcomings. Uh, I can tell you, you know, at this point as often as I do it, I'm I still think I'm way behind, especially when I look at the other artists that I admire. But uh, you talk to a few of them, and you realize it's the same thing: is that you're part of it is that you're never happy with it, that it's always the desire to you know keep working on it and doing better. That there's this perfect comic book out there somewhere, and I I hope I never draw it because then at that point I just stop drawing comics. <laughs> so I would you know what I tell kids is just have fun, just enjoy doing it. Don't don't get too hung up over it. Just, the important thing is that you're doing it and not so much that it has to be this or it has to be that. It just has to be something you like doing. And, uh, you know, for those that want to actually visit your website to see a lot of your work there, actually, you know, what is your website? Oh, uh, www.ozonejones.com, O-Z-O-N-E-J-O-N-E-S.com. <laughs> the I-N-G. <-N> <laughs>
<laughs> All right. Well, I just want to thank you so much for taking the time, Michelangelo, for doing this interview. It's been a true pleasure uh, speaking with you here today, and I hope you have a wonderful rest oh, of your event. Thank you. The honor's mine, actually. Thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you.